Hey guys, welcome to today's video. You have all been asking me to share with you what I am currently in love with as far as skincare is concerned, and we are sitting down today and doing just that. And I started out with just a few products and it kind of uh, turned into me basically emptying my bathroom medicine cabinet and taking it all into the beauty room And this is like everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have some Affordable stuff mainly. This is a little more high-end I tend to spend a little bit more money on my skincare just because I want those really intense powerful more expensive ingredients to potentially reverse some of the signs of aging and address skin concerns. I just feel like there are certain things that you can cut corners on and for the most part, skincare for me is not one of them. I have in the past dealt with cystic acne. I have been that you know person that had visit after visit to the dermatologist. And I'm actually thinking of doing a Accutane story because that is something that I did do when I was younger and I did have like really, really horrific acne. So let me know in the comments or a thumbs up this video if you wanna see that where it would just be like my experience and sharing with you um, all of that. Anyway, skincare is a big deal to me because of that sensitivity of like knowing what it's like to have crappy, crappy skin. I am always going way out of my way to research and use the very best products out there. And I have a ton of really good ones. So we're going to hop right in. And also it is hashtag Tati's Fashion Friday. It is another Amazon day and I am going to be posting this dress, which is so gorgeous. I just, I kind of feel I feel very formal today. I feel really overdressed, but I'm okay with it. This is such a beautiful number. You wanna see the whole thing and not just like me from here up, then go on over to my Instagram at Glam Life Guru and you can see the full deal with details on my shoes and earrings and everything. And then also I will be on Style Code Live tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Standard Pacific time. And a lot of you guys are giving me feedback that uh, you can't watch the show on mobile, which right now you unfortunately cannot so bust out your laptop your desktop and um, they are working to fix that issue but for now mobile is not an option to watch the show every week I like to really touch base with you guys and I see all the comments on the live stream of you guys being like hi Tati you know last week I was uh, watching the show with my mom and Puka and everyone's like Tati's mom and I'm like snapping and talking back to you guys and it's so much fun so I hope that you go and check out the show lots of fashion and beauty advice and then you have my hot product of the week so go check that out link will be in the description box and let's dive into skincare let's talk about first a few cleansers that I am loving and um, one that I don't think I've talked about on my channel before that I've been using for months and months this is from belief this is the creamy cleansing foam moist this is for normal to dry skin but there is nothing in here that has made me feel like it's oily or heavy or um, like I think even normal normal skin could use this it's just a nice foam cleanser and what's great about this line is you can see right on the front no mineral oil synthetic fragrances synthetic dyes synthetic preservatives animal origin ingredients everything about this is just great like you don't have yucky ingredients in here love that love how gentle it is and I think this is a great cleanser won't stay here too long because I have talked about this one a ton. This is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I like using this when I'm using harsher ingredients for um, you know, cellular turnover like retinols and whatnot. This would be great for someone who's using a lot of acne products that are drying to the skin and they want something super gentle. This is awesome. It is kind of like a gel jelly oily cleanser it's really good the texture on it is awesome and i keep this in the shower so that if i want to use it in the morning i can this is just one of those holy grail items that i will always keep on hand i repurchased this one over and over and over this is the mac cleanse off oil and this one i like to take a pump on dry skin and just massage around the eye area and then you end up looking basically like you've been punched in both eyes um, but fear not you're gonna rinse it all off and everything will be magically clean and all that waterproof makeup liner um, hard to remove makeup will be gone this is also great to dissolve heavy 
heavier makeup, if you have you know done cream contour and lots of touching up and you have really heavy makeup on, use an item like this first and then go into your other cleansers. About a year ago, I shared with you guys how much I love the product Benigma. It has bee venom, manuka honey, and shea butter. It's very natural. It smells delicious, but that's not the important part. The important part is that it absolutely nourishes firms the skin, it's antibacterial, so it's great if you get little breakouts. It's just a wonderful cream and I will even take it up underneath the eye. I have been using this literally for a year now. I like this as a night cream more than I do in the daytime just because it is that thicker texture with the shea butter, but it will just revive your skin, firm it, brighten it, smooth out the lines. And of course, I like it because it is heavier, but it doesn't make me break out because of the Manuka honey in here. So they have a new size. They sent this over to me and um, I'm gonna show you the smaller jar. It's about half the size of the original, which makes it more affordable. And really a little bit goes a long way. So if you've never tried this out, I actually would recommend getting the smaller jar just to experiment with it, see if you like it. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm like opening this just to smell it. I already have a large jar in my bathroom um, and I have recommended this to so many people in my real life. I have gifted this. I'm just such a big believer in this product. I had a 50% off discount code and it only lasted for like a few days and then people were emailing me, tweeting me and being like, hey, can you get that code back? Can you get that code back? And I've been asking for about a year and finally I have the code back but it's only good for a week. So if you wanna try this product, now is the time. Really, you know, it's not like a wink, wink, the code will be back in a month. It's not going to be back in a month. It's just for this week because it is such a large discount. Um, so that will be linked in the description box below. And it's just, this is a good one. Great product. If I wanna go the route of a sleeping mask, and sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just feel like I've been flying a lot or my skin's really dehydrated, and I just kind of want to slather on a little bit of goopiness. Like, you have to kind of sleep face up if you're gonna do sleeping masks, but this one is so good. This is from Dr. Jart. This is the Firming Sleeping Mask. I need to get a big one. I've used pretty much, it looks like there's a lot in here. There's not. I've used a ton of this. Um, this comes out kind of like, it looks like an ambery kind of honey texture. And you wake up the next morning and you actually will look like you had a, a bad accident with self tanner. Like the way it dries down, it looks a little dirty on the face. Don't freak out. Hop in the shower, rinse your face clean, and you will be firmed and moisturized. And all of the mask treatment magic stuff will happen overnight. So it's literally like you are sleeping beauty and you are waking up like refreshed and looking good. So that is one of my favorite overnight treatments. Um, speaking of treatments, if you have a pimple, a spot, um, I don't feel like this is really addressing like a wide like acne everywhere, but if you have those like underground kind of like, oh my God, what is that? You've been there. I've been there, you've been there, we've all been there. Um, this is the best for that. This is the Eradicate. This is an acne treatment from Kate Somerville. You don't shake this up. I have to remind myself of that all the time. I don't know why. I always wanna shake everything up. This has all of these sulfur ingredients at the bottom. You wanna take a cotton swab, dip it in there, and you're gonna look like you are dotting Pepto-Bismol all over your face. Let it dry, go to bed looking a little scary, it's okay. Wake up in the morning and the inflammation and everything going on with your uh, pimple situation should definitely be improved and this one is so good. It's my favorite favorite spot treatment. This is from Kiehl's. This is the Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. The reason I like this is it's kind of an all-in-one instant facial. It's a little bit granular, so you put this on, you let it sit on the skin, it's gonna firm and hydrate and brighten, and when you go to rinse it off, it's granular, so you're also going to exfoliate. You, you know, pat your face dry, finish up your regular routine with your sunscreen or night moisturizer, depending on you know when you're using this mask, and you're set to go and your skin will kind of be brought back to life if you haven't slept enough, you haven't been eating the right foods, you're dehydrated, it just is like a mini facial. 
Now, if you have a big event and you really want to firm your skin, I have two things that I want to chat about. One of them is from Glam Glow, and I've been using this for a very long time. Um, since it launched, I have definitely used this at least once every two weeks. Like, I will go out of my way to use this just because it always makes my skin feel so firm. And you guys know, like, hashtag firm, that's what I like. I like my skin to be just like pulled up and bright and firm and I just feel like everything looks better makeup wise and I feel better and I don't know if my skin just gets really puffy or what my deal is but firming products like really work on me this one is crazy you look like the tin man from wizard of oz it's actually like it's like it looks white in the jar and then you apply it and it is straight silver like silver silver god it smells so good just even opening the jar like wefted like this scent of like grapes and fruit and it's so nice so this is a totally awesome product that i have been using for a while i have another really amazing product that i have only used once and i used it during this week's wtf so i will link that video below if you haven't seen it and um, the reason i wanted to recommend this one for firm is because i've used it more but this other mask oh my god oh my god can i have like a lifetime supply Relax and Lift works, you guys. I feel like I had like the best skin day ever. This is a magical elixir for your skin. 10 minutes, rinse it off, best skin day of your life. Watch that video for more info. Another mask, um, can we see that I have, I think my bathroom is a spa and I just mask 24 7 um, I actually do like I use masks multiple times a week I'm not a person that buys a mask and just like lets it sit there I actually use them and that's another skincare secret that isn't like a big like wow I never thought of that but really you guys products don't work unless you use them so take time for your skin and you will see results this one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Goddess Skin Clay Mask, and this is going to visibly lift, smooth, brighten, and tighten pores for baby skin. This is what I love to travel with when I know that my skin is looking like crap and I have a big event and I need like just, you know, five, 10 minutes for something to do everything and rinse off really clean and, you know, make my skin feel very prepped for makeup. Baby skin, it does exactly that. Tightens those pores, hydrates, makes you feel like you have baby skin. Moving on to a little bit of toner. Um, this has been the only toner that I've really been into for the past, gosh, I wanna say like the past year, I alternate between different ones from this line, um, Phytomir. This is the Flawless Skin Tonic and I showed this in an empties and then they were kind enough to actually send me a new one. Like the company saw that video and they're like, oh, we saw that you were out. And I was like, oh my gosh, my life is made. Like, how is this happening? Um, and I've already gone down like, since that video a couple months ago. Um, I'm not even halfway, but I use this twice a day. I love it. I use it on an exfoliating cotton round and I just like having my skincare routine. Some people will argue that you don't need a toner. For me personally, I like using them. As far as an SPF, I have a really, really tough time with SPF. I know that you know it is so important to use and there's a new one that I really want to talk about, but I'm almost concerned to talk about it because it's so expensive. I'm thinking of doing like a WTF hot or not on sunscreen. I don't know. I don't know if you guys would like that or not. Anyway, um, I haven't put it to the test 100% enough to have it be in this video, and I think it deserves a standalone video. But that being said, um, this one and then that one have been like the only sunscreens that have not broken me out like crazy. Usually sunscreen will immediately clog my pores and I will get little whiteheads and it's just a nasty mess. So it's hard for me to like really get into trying different sunscreens. This is the only one in the past three years that I have been you know, consistent with. This is from Image Skincare. I got this from um, the place where I get facials. And this is the broad spectrum UVA and UVB sun protection and SPF 50. I will use this as a last step and I feel like it hydrates and moisturizes. Sometimes it gets a little bit heavy. Like I feel like I'm gonna need to find something a little bit lighter and more gel-like for spring, summer because my skin's a little bit oily right now. But if you have drier skin and you have that issue of breaking out with sunscreens, this is a fabulous one. 
All right, let's uh, hop on over to the drugstore and talk about some more affordable options for masks. I love Seventh Heaven masks. You can find these and they're like a couple bucks a piece and they have a mask for everything. They have like peel off masks, hydrating masks, firming masks, just all sorts of different ones. And I've even featured them in my like drugstore pamper routines. I love traveling with these because they're not just a sheet mask, they're actual like mask mask and they're just easy to bring on the go and I really enjoy these. I always feel like my skin looks refreshed and great and they are a single use mask, but um, really easy to find at your drugstore and super affordable, thought I'd mention it. This one is not as easy to find, but I am going to try to link this below. I do believe they sell this on Amazon. This is from um, Selkin. This is the Peptide Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. I buy these from Mamie's and they are phenomenal. I buy these in bulk. They are so affordable. They really remove your makeup. They're super gentle and anything from this brand, they have different ones for collagen ones, different more exfoliating ones, more sensitive skin ones, but I just, I love them all. I kind of don't even like look at what one is what. I just kind of grab a bunch of different colors of packets and keep them on hand and they always work out great. As far as a cleansing water from the drugstore, Simple continues to be my very favorite. I don't find this stings the skin. I find that it's really effective at removing makeup. It's super affordable and I love this. Another newer item that, this is kind of funny because my mom has been in town and she took this out of my shower and she like in her mind she was like oh i love all of these luxury products and this one just how much is this one can i take this home this must be really pricey this is the md complete anti-age restoring cleanser and makeup remover this removes makeup it soothes and it hydrates and this cleanser is bomb this is so good it's around 15 dollars. you can purchase this at cvs this is not a department store product. It's not just at your dermatologist's office. Um, so I was really surprised I got sent this. And I myself, like I try out so many different products, but I myself thought that this was something that I would look up online and it'd be like, oh, it's a $60 cleanser. But it's not, it's super affordable and it feels just the texture, the way it removes makeup, the way it smells, just everything about it feels very luxury, but it's super affordable. Not gonna stay here too long because I just talked about this in the items that I would splurge on video. And this is the Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil from Fresh. This is my current go-to favorite oil to use a drop in foundation. And then if I wanna drop just on top of, you know, other products that I'm using to extra boost hydration, if I'm really dry, I will reach for this. I also wanted to mention for the body because Skin on the body is super important too. This is from Lancome. This is the Nutrix Royal Body. This is for dry skin. And I'm just gonna show you like on one arm compared to the other, what this stuff does. It gives you like the prettiest sheen you have ever seen in your life. There's no glitter or anything like that in the product. Look at the difference of that. It's not greasy. It's not, oh, I'm like pushing my boobs together. What am I doing? <laughs> Um, it is not greasy or oily. I love using this before bed just because it smells so good and it is super, super hydrating and it's a nice like after bath or after shower lotion and the whole experience of it is really great. But also I love using this when my skin is exposed on legs, on my decollete, if I'm wearing a dress like today, it's nice to have your skin looking really fresh and glowy and it just pulls everything together a little bit more because who wants to look like they have dry skin on their body? No one. Um, so this is, God, it smells so good. A wonderful, wonderful body cream. As far as hand cream, my go-to right now is from Caudalie. I've talked about this one many, many times. Great for your cuticles, great for your hands. I deal with eczema, and this is one that I feel like sinks in really quickly, but really helps out the hydration situation with my hands, so this is a favorite. I love skincare so much. I really feel like, was I supposed to be a dermatologist, or what is going on here? Because I just am fascinated by skincare and taking care of the skin, and I hope that you guys found this video interesting. Make sure that you tune in tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Standard Pacific, Specific time to style code live because I have one more skincare favorite and it's the hot item of the week. Here's kind of a sneak peek. You can only see 
part of the box, but tune in tonight to find out what I am talking about. It's a really good one. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.